When audiences come to see one of our performances, they will see a fully polished professional orchestra and the most gorgeous of Lowell House chandeliers flanked by one of some of the most professional sets that Boston has to offer. What they will not see is the intense behind the scene work that is done predominantly and foremost by the students of Harvard College. Lowell House Opera is New England's longest running opera company and it produces a fully staged opera once a year in the wonderful setting of Lowell House's beautiful dining hall. If you're putting on an opera with a regular opera company, you sort of know who your singers are going to be. You definitely know who your orchestra is going to be. In this, we're almost reinventing every year. We hold auditions for the singers. We have no idea who's going to show up. Volunteers from the community, from the student body. We have several faculty members playing in the orchestra. And so, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes work just to physically rehearse this extremely difficult music. Before the show, every night, we have to take out all of the tables and chairs from the dining hall because everyone has been eating dinner here. So we politely ask everyone if they could leave and if they're still eating, we have a room that they can go to. And we take all the tables and chairs out, set up all the space for the orchestra and the audience. And then after the show is over and the audience has left, we take everything back in and set it back up again so that people can eat breakfast in the morning. This is Celeste, wonderful Celeste. Her character is kind of this very mystical purple and silver um, nymph. Right now we're going in and I'm just creating this exaggerated and fantastical look that looks great when you're pretty far away from the stage. So my main role has been publicity, posters, invitations to literally the entire school, all of the Facebook stuff, magazines, sending out press releases, and then I've also been doing some prop stuff, so I made this like little thesis binder for the composer, and I've been running around to find other various things. There's some blue lipstick back there, an inhaler, all sorts of random things that I've had to acquire. So basically, the actors are professionals, but then that there's us kind of running everything else. What's incredible about this opera is that it's such an intersection of some of the most amazing artists in Boston and some of the best uh, talent in the performing arts here at Harvard College, all of whom do it for no money and all of whom do it purely out of a labor of love. And that intersection, I think, is really at the core of the learning experience for the students who get to see all of it because they're so involved in the creative and the logistical um, aspects that go into making this professional opera. And so really seeing where you are as a student and where you might see yourself in the future, it gives A, a vision for us to think, what could I do in this field? But also say, how can I improve myself in it and get better at contributing to this field as best as I can? I'm hoping that what we can advocate for as people leave Harvard is some of them will become phenomenal musicians, some people will become amazing singers and have huge careers, but many people will hopefully leave with a love of the art form of opera in a day when we see too many opera houses closing down and too much opera being aimed at an elite audience. And what we're trying to say is that opera is something that is extremely accessible and I think that's part of a broad-based education.